what's up guys it's Ward Civic and today we are going to be reviewing my TV of five months now the CX 48 inch variant um, I wanted to review this TV the week after I got it but there was two aspects that I wanted to do before I reviewed it first and foremost I wanted to get over the honeymoon phase and then secondly I wanted to have access to an HDMI 2.1 capable device which I have now gotten my hands on the RTX Founder Edition 3090 and I have been able to see the full capabilities of this panel and it is absolutely brilliant. And in today's videos I'm going to be talking about using this device for PC gaming use, editing, normal computer use, and then also what you need and what type of equipment you need to be able to utilize this TV at its absolute best. And just a couple other different aspects and stuff like that that I've gotten from using this TV for the past five months. Now, like always, if you guys like what you see, please make sure to hit the like subscribe button with saying that I'll top right in. So the first thing I wanna talk about in today's video is what devices and other stuff you need to obtain to get the absolute most out of this TV and what you can do to it to get a little bonuses and extras as well. So first and foremost, you want to get a 2.1 capable HDMI cable. Now, my cable of choice is the Zexit HDMI 2.1 capable cable. Now, I have gotten the 6 foot, 10 foot, and 16 foot, and they are all capable of outputting 4K 120 hertz, 444 HDR capable. Um, I even the like it's a crazy experience and I'm gonna talk about it in another video with my 77 inch CX that I've used a 16 foot cable but they are all amazing and that is what I recommend if you are looking at getting this TV for PC use now the next thing you want to get is currently right now at the point of recording this video the 3070 and no no not 3070 3080 and 3090 are the only HDMI 2.1 capable graphic cards on the market we are yet to see if AMD's um, graphic cards will be HDMI 2.1 cable um, capable, but I would be surprised if they weren't. Also, this video is specifically talking about PC use, but yes, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X will also be HDMI 2.1 capable devices that can also output 4K 120Hz. So I would recommend to get that cable specifically for that as well. Last but not least, I am not going to spend a large amount of this video and I made a video separately to accompany this video. If you are getting this TV, even for gaming, but you will see the extra bonus in editing, Photoshop and everything, get your OLED TV professionally calibrated. I have made an entire video on how you can do it yourself and the absolute crazy bonuses you will see with just way better color accuracy, um, blacks, you will get less black crush, and just a whole bunch of other aspects that just take this TV from amazing to god tier. So the next aspect we're gonna talk about is gaming on this thing. Um, now a couple of words to explain gaming on this thing would be spectacular, amazing, excellence, and even to the point that I would say this 48 inch CX has some advantages over the 55, 65, or even 77 inch CX. And that is because of one reason, the PPI, pixels per inch. There is 8.3 million pixels in a 4K image. Now, when you have compared to the 77 inch or 65 inch, all those 8.3 million pixels compact in a 48 inch display especially an oled panel you are going to see a gaming experience that is just downright brilliant it is gorgeous to the point where when i booted the game at first on my 48 inch i was trying to wrap my head around exactly what i was looking at it Everything was so crisp. There was so much finite detail. And as I said before, with the PPI, with the 77 inch and the 65 inch, and I would think even the 55 inch, I wouldn't use the 55. I mean, you can use it in this kind of like setting where it's like on the wall, maybe you scoot it back a little more. But the 48 inch allows you to play games at let's say like two feet or even two to five feet away is what I'd recommend for the 48 inch. But with saying that, us PC players like to sit right in front of our displays. So we're looking straight at whatever's on it. So we see all the detail, everything up close, UI, all that. Now, when I, when I booted this game on my 48 inch, 
I was flabbergasted because there was just so much detail that, yes, I saw my 77 inch, but it was like, I was so far away from the display that it was like, I kind of had to like look kind of closely. And if you get too close to the 77 inch, that's at the point where you can see like a lot of the pixels and stuff. Like once you get like five feet close to this, literally this TV looks so good that I can't discern individual pixels up until I get maybe a foot away. And that is saying something about a TV. That's just absolutely mind boggling. Now the thing about it is, is this thing doesn't just shine with recent titles, which with recent titles, I am super excited to play Watch Dogs Legion and Cyberpunk 2077 and a whole bunch of other titles that are coming out soon on this display. But the, the biggest thing is even older titles such as Fallout 4, which I thought the art style was absolutely fantastic when the game originally came out, or even just even older titles where there is a whole bunch of like dark areas on the screen or even colorful games like Hades, which I played recently, just looks <laughs> insane. Everything just looks better on an OLED. And that's not even getting into the category of perfect blacks, perfect whites, as Thanos says, perfectly balances, everything should be. It's just, everything's just so color accurate. Picture quality is so amazing. Yes, you might say the Ace and Predator 27 inch has um, better PPI because it's 27 inch display on 4K, but OLED is superior technology. Like if we had a 27 inch or a 32 inch OLED, <laughs> I'd probably pass out from how good the image looked. Like I, I know like I'm, I'm being over zealous. I don't know if that's the right word, but like over, I'm, I'm not over hyping it. Like seeing this thing in person is like, it's seeing to believe it's, just, an absolutely fantastic display and like i'm trying to like say all this stuff so you guys can just get uh a picture of like what i'm talking about because like i mean seeing it is just like it's one thing like seeing it on camera but seeing it in person where you can dial in the specific settings specifically how you like if you have the right equipment to get the game looking as best as possible you are just going to get an experience unlike other and that's not even saying when you get a 3000 series card or something that's capable of output, outputting 4K 120 hertz um, with um, HDR. It's just, it's, it's, it's insane, man. Like I, I, I can't, I, I've played so many games on it. I've tested so many things and it's just, every time I boot up one title, it's just like, oh, I remember the game looking like this. And then once I see it on the OLED, it's just like, yeah, this, this does not, like, you. okay, here, this is the best way to explain it. You know where you play, like, older games when you're younger, and you're like, huh, it looks like that when I was younger, and then you play it back, and it's like, wow, that is a lot uglier. I remember the game looking a lot better than it did. Now, the, <laughs> the thing about this is, is it takes those older titles, and it's like, oh, wow, this doesn't look as good as I thought. It looks better than you remembered, because it's just, <laughs> I'm just rambling on at this point, but like, man, it's just, it's, it's, it's just greatness. So the next thing I'm going to go over is using the CX 48 inch for normal use, um, such as editing, browsing the web, um, and just other different categories and stuff like that. So first and foremost, I used my CX 35 predator for most of my editing and stuff prior. But now it has gotten to the point where I actually used my CX 48 inch for all my editing needs and different stuff like that. And there's a couple of reasons why. First and foremost, the color accuracy even out of the box on the CX is ridiculously impressive. Once again, as I said, you get this thing calibrated, it <laughs> reaches a whole new level of greatness. But also to the point with saying that, um, you have a lot of room to do stuff like on the ultra wide. Yes, you have the advantage of having a larger aspect ratio, but here on the OLED, it is still a 48 inch display. It's really big. There's a lot of room to tinker with all your different stuff. Um, right here, I have the Lumetri color dial and everything. And it's just, it's so easy to do everything. Now, next thing I want to cover is a couple of different things you can do to um, change the, um, to cover burning. Now, I'm not gonna act like that doesn't exist. Um, I'm going to talk about it. People have said it in my comments and my videos. 
and I have tried to give them a couple of things that they can do to prevent it and then also different warranties and other different stuff that cover it. Now, first and foremost, for my OLED anyway, I'm gonna pull this down to my ultra wide. You guys won't be able to see it. I have the wallpaper engine app. Now, right here through this, I can choose through a couple of different um, wallpapers that allow me to not have a very static image on the screen going at any time. Um, there is Breath of the Wild, they have Assassin's Creed, uh, some really cool, really, really, really cool cyberpunk ones. Um, even this Doctor Strange one, which is just absolutely mind boggling. You see, like all the pixels are moving, so it's not keeping a static image at all. Um, even this one from Persona, which is like awesome, it connects the little snow dots. Oh, play a song from the game. Um, and it's just like, it's really, it's really, really amazing. Now, another thing you can also do, and I'm gonna make an entire video over all of this and how to dial in specific settings for whatever you're doing. But there's also different stuff you can do, such as auto hide the taskbar, which that setting turns it off and it keeps it so that you're not having the very static image of a taskbar. Now, another thing you can do um, is in the US, oh, um, anyway, I know that Best Buy's warranty covers burn in. Now, another thing that a lot of people don't know. And I don't think it's as popular because I don't think they, they want to do it. Is supposedly LG has a for their OLEDs anyway, a one time replacement that you can get. So if you get burn in on your panel, and I've heard of people doing this all the way back to the C7 OLED display, and I've seen at least 20 plus people, I'm not even like hyper bowling hyping up, I've seen 20 plus people get their panels replaced on the OLED subreddit. So supposedly if you contact LG, I'm guessing either through their customer service or even on Twitter and say, I would like the one-time replacement offer. If you get burn in, um, they will, sometimes they will say, yes, we will do that for you. Or they will, and I'm, <laughs> I'm before I'm saying this, I'm sounding kind of like a Karen, I guess. You can say, I need to speak to somebody or like your supervisor or any like higher ups or whatever, and they will get your panel replaced. Now, I haven't done that personally because I haven't gotten burn in. I have the Best Buy warranty on it just to, I guess, put that extra covering. But supposedly that is also a possibility. Again, as I said, I'm going to make an entire video over other different stuff that you can do to combat burn in. But I recommend using Wallpaper Engine, which you can find on Steam for $4, or also doing the taskbar and just other different stuff like that. Now with saying all that, this is an absolutely fantastic display. Yes, I would like there to be a 27 inch, 32 inch, or even a 35 inch model. But for now, this is, if not the best, or one of the best OLEDs you can get. I, I love my 77 inch CX. I love my 65 inch C9. And those create, give you an experience that is amazing as well. But being able to play on display like this with that small and compact as it is, um, with the PPI, as I said, it just creates an experience that's unlike anything else. Um, being able to play as close as you are to this display and just being able to see everything so clearly, so crisp, so pristine, it's just an experience like no other. It's, it's fantastic and I absolutely love the display. And for anybody that's looking at getting a display in the premium category, um, upward of a thousand dollars, I definitely recommend getting this, uh, having this display on your, uh, on your sites. Um, I have an X35 Predator, which I absolutely enjoy, but CX 48 inch for me personally edges it out. Um, playing with a 21 by nine aspect ratio is absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to do a video on ultra wide versus OLED and the different plus and minuses of having each one but like if you have the raw power to output i mean i was gonna say if you have raw power but you need raw power to output ultra wide or even super ultra wide too but it's just everything just looks so good it, it even just on my desktop everything just looks so crisp so clean gaming is 
just mind blowing every time I boot up, as I said, every time I boot up any title, I just see new things every time. It's just an absolutely fantastic title, a fantastic display. And if you're looking at getting a display anytime soon for your computer, I definitely recommend having this on your site and not just having it on sites. I recommend to purchase it. Um, with saying that, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. With saying that, I hope you guys all have a good day.